Hello everyone. This hour on verbling, the next in my pronunciation practice series. Today we're going to be working on personalizing your particular pronunciation of troubled areas. Personalizing a way to focus on those areas, figure out what they are, and come up with a solution fast. So we're going to be using some of our tools and I'll give you a new and interesting technique to try out. Um, that's a little bit about the class. Here's a bit about me. I'm John Eric, your verbling teacher for this hour. I'm an American teacher from New York, hanging out in Lisbon, Portugal to bring you this class. By the way, here are three quick rules to help you participate. Don't forget to turn off, tune in, and open up, which means Turn off your microphone when you're not speaking so we can keep the classroom quiet. Tune in to the new words you're learning when you are speaking so that we can, so that I can correct you and give you feedback. Finally, open up to your classmates. Relax and have fun. We're all here to learn and this is a safe and respectful place to practice your English. Well, before I say hello to everyone, I think that I'm having a camera issue because like my camera is not turning on. So you won't be able to see my happy smiling face. I apologize about that. Uh, by the way, here in the chat window right now is a link to our notes. So we're going to in there if you want to open that up. And I'll try to share my screen with you as well. Um, at least for part of the class, so you can see where we are. Okay, so, welcome back, Daniel. Nice to see you this morning. Hello, good morning. Let's see who else we have here. So, I see uh, Vladimir. Hello, Vladimir. Hello, hello, everyone. So, Vladimir, where are you from? I'm from Russia, St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg. Okay, yeah. very good. Nice to have you. Um, let me say hello to all the new faces here. So, Audi, am I saying that right? Yeah, that's right. Hi, yeah. Audi. And where are you Hi. from, Audi? I come from Indonesia. From Indonesia. Okay, very good. Indonesia. Okay, Thank nice. You. Nice to have you. Nice to meet you. And Tati, welcome back. Hello, nice to see you again. Okay, nice to have you as well. And Shadow. Good morning, Shadow. For me, it's morning. I don't know if it's morning for you. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hello, everybody. Yeah, it's um, afternoon here. It's afternoon. Oh, look at that. My camera just magically turned on. Wow. <laughs> I wonder why. How did that happen? Uh, all right. So, look. Here's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to... First, I'm going to show you some of the things we've done in the past, which we're going to be using today. Let me share my screen with you. This may look familiar if you've been in a class before. Right now, it's an empty chart, but it's going to be filled. The Chart Your Vows tool. On the next page, by the way, this is in your notes, but I'm going to share my screen with you to make it easier. Uh, I'll tell you the page number in a minute. Another chart that we've used in the past is these three EDs, the past tense tool. That means when we find a verb in the past tense, we can, we can put it in one of three columns depending on its pronunciation. And what we learn is the final consonant will determine which pronunciation it gets. So all these are empty, but as we do the class today, we're going to be filling them in. One last chart is the English IPA, International Phonetic Alphabet. I don't know if I can use this very much because I need to have a, a keyboard that can write the symbols to, so that I can label difficult words according to the IPA. But I may refer to the IPA today quickly just to help you distinguish one sound from another. Don't worry if the symbols are confusing. After a few classes, you'll get them. In fact, we can work on ways to practice this in the future. Maybe at the end of class I can even give you some suggestions. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, first of all, 
I'm going to go to the right page in our notes right now. So I'm going to share my screen with you. When you open the notes, you will see this, pronunciation practice. Got my information there. Then you have the table of contents on page two. This unit is all about self-improvement. This is class 31. So you can either just click on that or go to page nine. It'll take you to the same place. And you'll notice it says for today, I'll dictate a song to you. You label it according to the charts above. Well, you're going to be looking at the screen, but if you want a reference, you can always go to charts on page seven, six, four, five, and four. Now, actually, it looks like it's on six and seven. The charts are on six and seven. Okay, but I'll be sharing my screen as I said. All right. So, and I'm going to be writing there but you have to have this open in order to see it. It's going to be hard to share my screen and see you. So I'm going to be actually writing. OK, here we go. The reason we're going to do a song, an easy song, is because it's a lot easier to learn pronunciation when you have to sing it. So I'm going to pick a song that you all know. Give me a second. I'm going to copy and paste the words. I'm going to open it up in my browser first. So I'm going to go to Wikipedia. Are you going to sing today? For I'm us? Going to, uh, no. <laughs> oh. you're, you're going to sing. Give me a second here. First I have to get the lyrics. Okay, I got the lyrics. I want to go to English Wikipedia because I'm going to sing it. I'm going to say it in French. You're going to say it back to me in English. That's that's the plan. Uh, I have to remember how to spell it in French. Give me a second here. One second, one second. Uh, oh, I don't know how to spell it. That's my problem. Give me a second. One moment. Just doing a quick Google search because what I want to do. Ah, here I found it. There we go. Let me see if I got my Wikipedia. Ah, oh, there it is in Wikipedia. Fantastic. Because I've got to read this in order to get it right. All right. So, here's your song in French. Tell me if you know this song. Oh, look, there's Sylvia too. Everyone's here. Tell me if you know this song, and then I'm going to tell you the words in English. And um, you you can write them down if you like. I'll do a quick dictation. You can check your answers on the pronunciation practice document that we're sharing. All right. So here's the song. It goes like this. Tell me if you've heard this one before. <laughs> I don't feel like singing. It's going to be too difficult. I'm too tired. Daniel, can you sing in French? Eh, la vie en rose. Ah, very good. <laughs> Here, I'll tell you what. I'll give you the words in French. Let's see if you can sing these. Take a look on the document. No, we're all going to sing this in just a minute. But Do you know this song, Daniel? No. No one knows French, I really? I no one else? Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous. Sonne le matin, sonne le matin. Ding, dang, dong, ding, dang, dong. Do you know that one? Everyone knows that one. In, in Spanish, yes. <laughs> let's let's do it. Let's do it in English. I'm going to get the. The, the literal translation. Now, the reason we want to do this song is because you probably know it in your own language. Because what we're really going to do is replace some of the words with our own words. So you have to know, you have to know the the pronunciation. Here's your dictation. Oh, you know what? I can't show you the screen right now. If I show you the screen, you're going to see it. 
here's your dictation. You can write it down if you want, or just listen and wait for the transcription. The dictation is, oh wow, they translated, they translated Jacques in different ways. How do you think you'd say Jacques in English? Because <laughs> we don't really translate names. Here they're translating it as, I've seen it translated as James, John's, John, and Jacob. I'm going to keep it Jacques, okay? Is that okay with everyone? Can anyone hear me? Yes. Is anyone out there? Yes. yes. I'm the yes, one who's yes. tired. Yes. For all of you, it's late, late in the afternoon. Yes. It's morning here. Okay, very good. Okay, so you can write this down if you like. You can, it's pretty easy. Or just wait and I'll write it for you in the pronunciation practice. Then what we're going to do is start to use our tools. Here is the literal translation. Brother Jacques, Brother Jacques, are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Ring the morning bells, ring the morning bells, ding dang dong, ding dang dong. Everyone got that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> did you write it down? Yeah. Oh, if you did, fantastic. If you did, you can check your answers by looking at page nine. And now what we're going to do is use some of our tools. So first of all, let me get the tools back on screen. The chart your vowels tool. Now for this, I'm going to have to write on the, on the PDF. So, looking on page 9, what I want you to do is I want you to put the number that you hear, the number of the sound, on the line of the poem. Not the poem, the song help you out, let's go back in our notes, because the, in the other class, we already filled in this chart. If you remember, Daniel, you were here, we all chose an animal, because what we wanted was the sound to be really, really something you can easily remember. Okay, so what I'm going to do is add a number and an animal, and we'll review the rules. Daniel, do you remember what the long sound of A was in the other class? A uh, snake. It was a snake. <laughs> How did you remember? It was a snake. Very good. Daniel, do you remember the rule for the long sound of A? Remember, it has um, to do with how many vowels are in the word. The short was elephant. The long... Uh... Well, let's stick with A first. The longest snake and the short one, mm -hmm. do you recall what it was? What animal did we choose? Cat. It, I think it was cat. I think so. Okay. Anyone who is in the class, okay, not the new people, but the old people, what's the rule? What's the difference between the long and short sound? How many vowels? What's the rule? Who remembers? Uh, I remember that long is two vowels. Good. So if there's, if there's two vowels, it's always the same as the name. The name is A, so the first vowel will get pronounced A. The word is snake with an A. In the short sound, one vowel. And it gets an irregular sound. It, it's one that you can't predict. You just have to hear English to know it. Ah, like cats. What is the long sound of E, Shadow? Um, Remember, the long sound of A is A. What's the long sound of E? E. Of course, it's E. Remember the animal we chose for E? I don't remember, really. We uh, didn't have a... We didn't have deer. a very... Yeah, we used deer. It wasn't the best because of the R, but it's close enough. Shadow, do you remember the short... The short sound, what animal did we choose for the sound? What's the short sound of E, by the way? E is the long sound. What's the short sound? E. Uh, that would be the long sound. Go back to the animals. Uh, what? Uh, 
I don't remember really. Okay, good. Think of any word that has one e in it. Any word doesn't matter. Like pit. That would be with an i. Pit. I'm. Oh no! It's I mean this one, teacher. P i t. P e t. Pet. Pet. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Daniel, what was our animal that matched the sound e eh, as in pet? Elephant. Elephant. It's right. This works because elephant, the L, is the stressed syllable. We only care about the stressed syllable. In the word elephant, how many syllables, class, in the word elephant? How many syllables? Three. Three. Elephant. Three. Which is the stressed syllable? First, second, or third? First. First. L. How many vowels in the first? One. One. Uh, e L. Oh yeah, yeah. One. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> elephant. Actually, it, you could probably say it like this. E L E F A N T. Probably write it like this to make it a little bit easier for you to see it. So the first is is the letter E, but it's alone, so it's pronounced. Eh, like pet. Okay, let's quickly go through the other animals. Number three is the long sound of I. Anyone remember an animal for I? By the way, you can always cheat and just look at the chart on page 10, if you want. <laughs> the long sound of I is obviously the same as the name. It's I. So, what do we have? Lion. You chose lion? Now, lion, lion doesn't actually follow the rule because there's only one vowel in the first syllable, the stressed syllable. But we're going to use it to, to make life simple because it should be spelled L-I and then another vowel. Okay, but there isn't another vowel, but we'll use it anyway. Okay, sound number eight is the short sound. The short sound of I is I, as in the word sit. So we use the word. Let's see if Daniel remembers. <laughs> Are you doing this all from memory, Daniel? No, I am oh, reading the lies. <laughs> the lies. <laughs> Your comment. You're cheating. Okay. Yes. The long sound of O is O. So the animal would be. Say it for me. I want to hear some other voices out there too. Oh, by the way. Helio, I didn't even see you come in. Hello, Helio, how are you? Oh, I can barely hear you. You're very, very quiet. Okay, uh, you, you wanna that I, that, that I tell you? I'm just, no, no, I'm just saying hello, Helio, just hello. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right now we're Right now we're gonna fill in the chart and then we're gonna use it and we've already done the animals. That's why I was asking the other students who had been in the class. Okay. So I, the don't know, I don't know many animals, but I will try to. No, no, you don't need to. You don't need to. I'll fill it in, and we're going to use it together. Okay? I was just saying hello because I saw you. Okay. Um, so, animal number nine, the short sound of O. Uh, what was that? I don't have it in front of me, Daniel. Short sound is the ah. What was the animal we used? Daniel? Uh, frog. Oh, frog. Okay. Frog. Got it. Frog. Not frog. frog. But frog. frog. Uh, frog. Yeah, you, you got to get the G sound a little more soft because it sounds like frock. Frock is a dress. Yeah. yeah. Frog. Good. 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 Number five yeah. is the long sound of U, which is U. What's our animal, Daniel, for five? Human. <laughs> human. Human. We use the human animal. And the last one, number ten, was the short sound is a. Uh. What was that, Duck. Daniel? Duck. Okay. Duck. So, class. We don't have the special column filled in yet, but in the future we will. For the moment, 
Instead of remembering the rules, you can remember the animals. A, snake, a, cat, e, deer. Uh, the e we need, probably need to change. E, elephant, i, lion, i, pig, o, goat, a, frog. We could also do otter, if you know that animal. Dog. Dog. Dog is, see, dog is different than frog. We really need to have that ah sound. Dog. Okay. So dog is, would go in the special column because it's a different vowel sound. Okay. For now, I'm not going to use the special column. Not yet. Later we will. You, human, a, uh, duck. All right. Now that we know that, let's go to our poem. We'll go to the English version, of course. So, I'll share my screen for this. I'm going to go back to um, wherever we were. Give me a second. Uh, uh, 31, okay. It's a little bit small, but hopefully you can see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the number from the chart to work out the rhyme scheme, the rhyme of the poem, okay? So it's, let me hear you say the first line, Sylvia. Sing it for us. No, brother, no. Sing it brother, for Brother, double, brother. Da. Okay, good. Are you good. sleeping? Are you sleeping? Ring the morning bells, ring the morning bells, ding dong dan, ding dong dan. Okay, could you sing that a little faster? Slow no. down, Sylvia, slow down. Okay, <laughs> so let's find the stress of Jacob. Because the, st the stronger word was, you said, brother Jacob. Where's the stress in brother and where's the stress in Jacob? How many syllables in brother? Two is, is Two. in the first. Okay, so I'm going to write the first one big, like this one. I'm going to go brother. And in the second, how many syllables? Two. Two. Which is the stress? Uh, or is it the first? The first. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to add a number, Jacob. We only care about the first syllable, only the first syllable. Going back to our chart, which number, which animal matches with Jacob? Mm, cat. Jacob? No, oh, it's Jacob. Uh, 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 elephant. Jacob? No, no, it's Jacob. Jacob. I don't know. Uh-oh, pass. Who wants it? <laughs> How about Odi? What do you think? Jacob. Which animal from the chart matches the sound Jacob? J. Odi? What would you yeah, say? Yeah, I'm here. Um, let me see. I'll put the, yeah. I'll put the, hold on, I'll put the chart back on the screen. See, this um, is the problem. It's really hard to share the screen with you. So all of you, Remember, you're on page nine of our notes, but I'm sharing the chart with you. Jacob. Well, mm -hmm. Jacob is spelled with a J with an A, so it's got to be the first row, right? It's got to be the first row. Yeah. Jacob. So mm -hmm. is it snake or cat? It's snake. It's got to be snake, right? Jacob, snake. Yes. So, can you hear that? Uh, sh um, Sylvia. Yeah. Okay. But the rule is uh, one syllables with uh, only one vowel. Exactly. The rule doesn't fit. Okay. <laughs> and the reason is because when it comes to like words that are used all the time or names or something like that, um, the spelling has not modernized yet. The spelling is still the old spelling, maybe from hundreds of years ago. So it doesn't yet follow the rule. But in the future, maybe Jacob, maybe people will change the spelling to make it match the rule. But for the moment, it doesn't. So the exercise here is to use your ears. 
not mm -hmm. not and then just see if it fits the rule if it doesn't it gets put in a special column so for the sound it's definitely the long sound of a jacob brother what about brother sylvia brother uh, does it fit anywhere no it's, no it's spelled with an o it's not goat o brother no it's not ah brother so brother goes in the special column actually in this particular case we're gonna put I, I don't have the symbol in front of me but hang on a second in this particular case we're gonna go to a different part of the chart look at this mm -hmm. okay yeah. I know it's the Shoah the, the brother yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. So for those of you who don't know the IPA, I'm going to quickly... I don't have a way to write on here. Hold on a second. Do I have a... I don't have a tool to point, do I? Uh, highlight? Nothing. I can't. I can't draw here. Well, okay. I'll just do it like this. I'll make a little impromptu arrow here. Let's make it make it red. My tools don't work very well. Alright, anyway, there you can see that little arrow. Sorry, I can't make it bigger right now. Um, so it's this symbol. Oh, wait, wait, no, sorry. Wrong place. Mm. Let me move it over. It's this symbol here. Let me see if I can make that a little bit bigger. No, I can't. All right. Well, it's not that it's not that big on the screen, but anyway, it's that one, and it's pronounced uh, uh. This is the sound of all the non-stressed vowels, uh, like brother, brother. So brother doesn't follow the rule either because brother the uh is stressed. It shouldn't be brother. It should be brother, but it's not. So it's irregular. Okay, the point here is, you can start to be analytical. You don't ha don't worry about the rules so much. Just see which animal it matches with. Okay, let's get someone else for line two. So let's go with let's see, let's go with Helio. You're new here, Helio. So we're going to go back to the chart. In line two of our poem, let me hear you sing line one and line two. Remember. You got to add the right amount of syllables too, because it's brother Jacob, two syllables, and are you sleeping has to match as well. Let me hear you sing line one and line two, Helio. Drunk, 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 Ooh, I can't hear you. Hold on a second, Daniel. Daniel, can you just mute your microphone for a second? Thanks. Okay, say it again, Helio. Yeah, yeah. Do you want like a singer song? Yeah, I want you to. I want to hear you sing the first two lines of our song on page number nine, just like Sylvia did. Can uh, you see page number nine on the notes? Or, uh, or do you? Uh, I'm see, I'm see. And nine. Nine have uh, uh, page uh, nine. I see. Let me see. Okay, uh, Jack, uh, brothers, Jacob, brothers, Jack. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Remember, I put a one next to Jacob because we agreed that it's the first animal in our chart. It's snake, so it's snake. Jacob. Okay. So, brother Jacob, repeat. Bro brother Jacob. Brother Again. Jacob. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Very ring good. The morning bell, ring, the, ring the morning bell. Ding, dong, dong. Ding, dong, dong. Very good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's go to are you sleeping? How many syllables in sleeping? How many? Sleeping. Sleeping. I think three. Sleeping. I, sleeping. I two. It's just two. It's just two. So I'm going to make 
the first syllable capital to show you that the first syllable is the stress. Stress in Portuguese is silba tonica, sleeping. Okay. Which number are we going to put from the which animal matches with sleep? Sleep. Sleep. Let me. Let me. Sleep in. Um, sheep. Have sheep. Sheep. But sheep have just one, one, one syllable. That's okay. Doesn't matter. Let's change our deer to sheep because it's it actually. It sounds in, uh, in, in first song. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because all we need to do is match the vowel sound. So we're going to change our deer to sheep. You said sheep. That's good. So sheep is the same as sleep. In other words, it's the long sound of E. It's a number two. So our rhyme scheme is the long sound of A, the long sound of E. Okay, very good. Let's go to one more person here. Let's go to Audi. You're new. Audi, I want to hear you sing it one time and then you're going to label the third line for us. Okay? okay. Brother Jacob, brother Jacob, are you sleep? sleeping? Are you sleeping? Ring the morning bells, ring the morning bells. Ding dong dong, ding dong dong. Very good, very good. Bells. How many how many syllables in bells? How many syllables? It, it has one syllable. It has I just think. one syllable, right. One syllable. Okay. Yes. Which which animal mm -hmm. does it match with in the chart? Bells. Bell. Bells. 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 Bell. Well, it's spelled with an E. So you only have two choices. It's either a two or it's a seven. It's either a sheep or an elephant. Elephant. It's elephant, number seven. That's right. Bell, um, elephant. Bell, elephant. Okay, very good. So our rhyme scheme, the rhyme of the poem now, looks like this. I'm going to write this on page nine. You'll see it next to it. Long, A, sleeping, long, E, whoops, short, E, and then we'll do the last line. Shadow, can you sing the song one time, and then you're going to label the very last line. Sing it for us once. Uh, teacher, I know what, how to do it without singing. I know, but I want to hear you sing. Because it's embarrassing. Oh my God. <laughs> I sang. If I sang, and I, and it's very early in the morning for me, you can sing. Come on, try it once. Brother Jacob, come on, do it with me. We'll sing a duet. You sing high, I'll sing low. Brother Jacob, go ahead. Come on. Do it. Jack. Okay. Shadow, uh, everyone, go shadow, <laughs> shadow, shadow. Um, brother Jacob, brother Jacob, are you sleeping? Good. <laughs> I'll, I'll ring the morning bell, ding tong <laughs> <laughs> You have to do it twice. Ring the morning bells, ring the morning bells, ding dang dong, ding dang dong. What's our what's our dong? How many syllables in dong? Dong, it's one. It is one syllable. Does it match with an animal in our chart? Which animal does it match with? Dong. Dong, it's like. Hmm. It's like. Dong. Is it the same as goat or frog? I think it's dong. It's like long. Goat. Long. Goat. Goat is not long though. You, you mean, oh, you mean it's a long sound of, oh, goat. But that would be dong. dong. And it's not dong. Frog. Then. So it's <coughs> dong. Ah, oh, frog. It's number nine. It's the frog. Okay. So now that we know that, we've just mapped out our song. Ah. Oh, so it's the short. It's the short 
O sound, short O. That's kind of a strange song. We've got A, E, E, and A. Ah. Brother Jacob, Brother Jacob, are you sleeping? Oh, that's right, because in French it rhymes, but in English it doesn't. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. Ring the morning bells, ring the morning bells, ding, dang, dong. It doesn't rhyme at all, does it? Now, Did now you that you know... I think oh, that... I, sorry, but I mean dong. It's like even duck. Duck, dong, duck. It depends on how you say it, I guess, because I would say ah... Uh, Dung, uh, duck, dung. No, it's not dung like duck. It's definitely number nine, ah. Uh. But you're right that the end, the letter N, slightly changes the sound a little bit. The consonants will affect the sound a little bit. But it's definitely the short sound of, of O, ah, uh, dung. It's just not as easy to hear as, as frog or hot or top, but it's definitely that sound, dong. Okay, now the reason you're doing this is because the song is so easy to remember that what you can do is easily change the words and still remember the sound of the song. Sure. Donking, donking, is, can be, donking. Donkey? Yeah. For which? To match with dung? Yeah. Donkey. The problem is in American English we say donkey. Uh, and donkey would be number 10 in the chart. It would be the same as duck. Donkey. So it depends on how you say it. Where I come from we say donkey. But if you say donkey, which is probably the better way to say it, you're right. It really depends on where you're from, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I guess that that's probably right. Okay, in the class, the last class, so this was two classes ago, we worked out the vowel chart. In the last class, all of you had to tell me a consonant that was difficult for you. And the consonants that I heard was, Shadow said the P, as in pen, is sometimes difficult. Is that right, Shadow? Yeah, yeah, okay. good too. Daniel said the, for him it was the, the sh and ch sound, right? Getting, making sure that you're saying the ch when it's ch. Is that right, Daniel? Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is go around the room, and what we're going to do is add consonant. For consonants, we're not going to use animals. We're going to use something else easy to remember. We're going to use objects, things that are easy to picture. Okay? And then we're going to go back to our song and our exercise is going to be to rewrite the song using our object. So this is what I mean. So we've got a, an object for Daniel and Shadow. Audie, what consonants are difficult for you to say? In other words, in, 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 in Indonesian, the, uh -huh. the, the, the pronunciation is a bit different. What do you yeah. find difficult in English? What consonant sounds are difficult? The consonant sound is difficult. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Okay, well think about it. We'll come back. We're going to pick one that okay. we have trouble with. We'll come back. Um, Sylvia, what okay. about you? Which sounds in English are mm. hard for you? I have two options. One is the each. As in which word? Uh, because sometimes it's pronounced, sometimes not. Mm -hmm. Okay, so give me an example of a word. Uh, uh, like hospital, <laughs> you mean? Yeah. Hospital. Okay, well, or there's. The a R. Put the R because in Italian it's more strong than in English. All right, let's go with the R for now because it's uh, – we can go with the H if someone else has it. Let's go with the R. Okay. The H is a little more complex. There's three different H's in English, so that's why it's a little harder. But let's go with the R. R. Tell me an object, something mm -hmm. that you could put in your hand that begins with an R. 
rules. Ooh, that's yeah, really loud. Sorry. Rules. L. Like L. a ruler, you mean? Ruler. Yes. A ruler, the thing you use to measure with. Yes. Say the word ruler. Ruler. Ah, you're saying ruler like this. Ruler. You're rolling your tongue. Ruler. Yeah. Okay. L first of all, let me just quickly give you a tutorial on the letter R. Quick tutorial, okay? <laughs> Can you see my big ugly face? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So here's the difference. First of all, r, r. R. I don't use my I don't use my tongue. So that would be like in, in Portuguese, Italian, Spanish. Uh, there's this r sound. Rule, rule. First, I have to do this. Can you do that? Yes. Right? Rule. Next, if this is my teeth, right? Mm -hmm. My tongue never touches anything. Rule. It goes like this back. Rule. Rule. But it's, that's perfect. That's it. So you can tell you're doing it right because your tongue moves, but it doesn't touch your teeth. It doesn't touch the roof of your mouth. Whereas if I go rule, rule. For me, it's it's actually touching the roof of my mouth to make the vibrating sound, okay? Mm -hmm. But I don't roll my R's in the right way because I'm not able to do it, unfortunately, because my tongue isn't big enough. <laughs> if I was if I was Spanish, I'd have a major problem. And in Italian, I have to fake it because I, I have to go R, which is not really the right sound. Because I, I, I literally can't get my tongue to make the, sound, the right sound. Fortunately, I'm not Italian, so I, it's okay if I have a bad pronunciation. But literally, this is my tongue. I'm going, rule, rule. And my lips are in this shape. Rule. Rule. Okay. rule. So first, you have to know how to do it by knowing where to put your tongue in your mouth. That's the first step. The next step is we, we practice. So here's how we practice. Let's start with, I'm going to give each of you a line, and we're going to use your object in the line so that you can practice in an easy way. You can practice anywhere you want because you'll always remember the song Frere Jaca because everyone knows it, right? And you can do it in English or not. You can do it in French. It doesn't matter. So here's what we're going to do. Let's take, uh, let's take one of those vowel sounds, okay? And we're going to sing it with just the vowel sound first. Then we're going to go back and we're going to add your objects. Oh, you know what? Let's get objects from everyone. So we have an object from Shadow, Daniel, Sylvia. We need an object from Odie and an object from Helio. So, Helio, let's go to you next. Which sound in English is difficult? Which consonant sound is difficult for you? I, I have very difficult although. So, TH, right? Yeah, yeah, so much. Very good. So, Helio, I want you to think of an object. Think of something you can hold in your hand that has the sound TH, TH, or TH. What's, what's an object, something you can picture in your mind easily? Um, object that starts with the... Exactly. Can you think of anything? I, I don't know in my mind. Ah. Uh, uh, the um, <laughs> teacher, you catch me. <laughs> Can anyone help him out? Can anyone think of an object? Preferably teacher. something. Yeah. The shadow said me the teacher. No, but but teacher is not though. It's not with a th. Th. Right. I don't know. I don't know. But okay. Can, can be teacher. What teacher? teacher? No, no, no. Although, although? There's a big difference between what? Although uh, and though? Uh, it's very different. It's very different. You mean the word or the sound? Ah, oh, oh, she wrote. Sound. She wrote. She wrote theater. Oh, not teacher. I heard teacher. Ah, theater. 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 Yeah. theater. Yeah. Okay. Theater. Okay, theater is fine. Theme is a little too abstract. We need something really con concrete. Theater, theater. Uh, I'm going to give you an object, Helio. We're not going to use theater 
there's a reason because it's a mental trick. If you can picture the object in your hand, it'll be a lot easier to remember. Theater is a little harder to picture because you have to really, unless you know one. So I'm going to give you an object. The object is thimble. Thimble. Do you know what a thimble is? Have you heard of that before? Thimble. I don't know. Thimble. I'm going to show you a picture of a thimble. You tell me how to say it in yeah. Portuguese. Give me a second here. I'm going to give you a picture of a thimble right now. One second. Sorry, my Google search is a little bit slow. Give me a second. All right, I'm going to share my screen with you so you can see what a thimble looks like. Give me a second here. Can you see the thimble? This is a thimble. You put it on your finger. Uh, in, in Portuguese, means dedal. Dedal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Brazilian Portuguese, because I'm telling you, here in Portugal, we don't say dedal. I don't think so. But I think yes. This thimble used to, to make uh, clothes. Exactly, yeah. When you're yeah. sewing, when you're yeah. sewing, you protect your finger so you don't stab yourself. A thimble. Yeah. And so the. It's dedao. Dedao. Okay. Look how it's spelled. T H I M B L E. Thimble. 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 That's thimble. right. So, thimble, by the way, just a quick tutorial on the th sound. Look at my look at my face here. Okay. We've got always two pronunciations for TH. Elio, two pronunciations. You can put your finger here. Look where my finger is. Here. Yeah. When you have a TH. Sorry. Innocent, I need to mute you because I'm hearing a lot of noise. Okay? But you can turn on your microphone when you're ready to speak. I need to mute you for a second. Innocent. Okay? There we go. So, Innocent, you can turn on your microphone a little bit later when we're ready to speak. But for now, keep it off because it's really loud. So, when you put your finger there, you can feel your vocal cords moving. There are two THs. One is voiced. You can feel it here. And the, uh, the second one is not voiced. We call it unvoiced. In the word thimble, if you put your finger on your throat, you can feel it's not voiced. Thimble, thimble. Here's your teeth. Your tongue goes like this. Thimble, thimble. Your tongue has to touch your teeth like this. Thimble. Good. All right. The second word, the second sound is voiced, like the word, um, let's see, like the word uh, this and that. So, if I put my finger here, I can feel it. This, that. I can feel it move. Wow. Right. Again, your tongue is touching your teeth. This, that. Wow. If, you, if your tongue does not go out of your mouth, okay. th then you're doing it wrong. Your tongue has to leave your mouth. This, this. Wow. Now, that's it. Okay. So we're going to practice with the word thimble for this. Your object's going to be thimble for today. Okay, Odi, did you pick a letter or a sound which is difficult for you? We can add it to our chart. Which consonant sound is the most difficult for you? Odi. I guess DR. DR. Like, trap. like, DR. Tr like trap. drug. Trap. No, T T T R like truck. Truck, truck, truck. Sometimes truck. Truck. Okay. What about the T? What about the T alone? The T alone sometimes okay. Sometimes I have problem. <laughs> say the word. Say the word. Tuck, like tuck in your shirt. Tuck. T U C K. Tuck. 
please talk. Okay. Say the word duck. Duck. Okay. Interesting. What I'm hearing is that the sound of the K sounds more like a G to me. Let's try this again. Mm -hmm. uh, say the word uh, dog. Dog. Say the word duck. Duck. Dog, duck. Repeat. Dog, duck. Dog, duck. Dog, duck. Oh, okay, okay. Dog, I can hear the difference. Okay, so we'll go with the, the TR sound. That's fine. We'll go with it. TR. As in, what kind of object has a TR? Can you picture an object for us? Mm -hmm. The object with TR? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Truck? Truck is a pretty big object, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> You're talking about a truck, like the thing you drive, right? Uh -huh. Right? Uh, okay. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> so, so here's what we're going to do. Our technique is going to be to take a song we know. First, we're going to get the vowel sounds, just the vowel sounds. So we're going to sing it only using the vowels, just the vowels. Then we're going to add consonants to the vowels. Uh, we're going to add the difficult consonants, the ones that you, that, that you named. In order to do that, we're going to first put in the objects into the song and see how it sounds. By singing the song, using your object, it should be a little easier. But first, what I want us to do as a group, we don't have a lot of time here, so, but first I want everyone to take one line of the song and I want you to sing it only using the vowel sounds, just the vowel sounds, no consonants. Okay? So let's do it like this. On screen I see Sylvia, then Shadow, then Audi, and then Elio. So Sylvia, you're going to take line one, Shadow line two, Audi line three, Elio, you're going to sing line four. All right. That's the order we're going to go in. And Daniel and Innocent, we'll get to you in just a minute, okay? So Sylvia, start us off, and I'll be here to correct you, okay? But I want you to sing line one using only the vowel sounds, not the consonants. Only the vowel sounds that you hear. Yeah, but uh, always so, brother. Well, you've got to take out all the consonants of brother. Uh, other? Jacob? Help? <laughs> that's, the, that's the right idea, but I still hear consonants. What were the, vo what were the vowels? We had the schwa sound, right? Mm -hmm. And we had the A, the long sound of A, right? Boy. <laughs> so listen to me. Uh, uh, er, because I, I can't get rid of the R. The R is part of the vowel, so I'm going to go uh, er. Okay. Someone's got a dog. Yes, my dog. Okay. <laughs> this morning uh, I'm alone here. Uh, er, and then uh, Jake... Uh, uh, Good, and then Jacob's going to be a a uh, a a. Uh. A a. Uh. So a uh, er. Uh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Uh, er. A uh, o. Uh. Er. Er. Uh. Yeah. Uh, uh. That's it. So it's going to be like this. Uh, er, a a a er, a a. Give it a try. Okay. Uh, o a a a o a a. Wait a second. I'm hearing an uh uh. Do you want an American accent or a British accent, Sylvia? British. Oh, you want a British accent? Well, I can't help you then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have to do it your way then. So, yes, if it was British, it would be uh, uh, because it's brother, right? The, 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 er, the R becomes an uh in British English. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, a, uh, 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 a, uh, be like that. Uh, uh, a, uh, 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 a, uh. Go for it, Sylvia. Uh, 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 uh. Shadow, line two. Uh, uh, okay. 
Ah. Uh, ah, uh, you, you. Not, 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 not you, but ooh. Ah, uh, ooh. Uh, okay, sorry. Ah, uh, ooh, e, n. Ah, uh, good. I could hear the difference. E, 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 e. That's it. That's very good. Ah, ooh, e, e. <laughs> so it's, so it's. Okay, that's good, that's good. Let's see if we can hear uh, Odie. You were going to do line three for us. Take out all the consonants. In, 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 e, o, uh. Okay, you're missing one. I heard i, which is correct, but the word e. the still has the mm. uh sound. So, i, uh, uh, and then, e, so, uh. so let's try it like this. Ring the morning bells. I, uh, o, i, e, uh. It's the lot. I, uh, o, i, uh, e. Uh. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> eh, uh, it's, oh, eh, eh. it's actually you got to say you got to put five vowels together. Eh. Put, so ring e eh, okay. the uh morning o oh, e eh, o oh, e eh, bells e. Eh. So okay. it's not going to be easy. Try it once for me. Okay. Try it once. E eh, e eh, eh. Oh, house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so so, so so. It's gonna take a little bit of practice. Okay, we've got to stop in thirty seconds. But Helio, I want you to try the last line without the vowel, without the consonants. Oh, that's easy. Very good. <laughs> that's it. All right. So what you're going to do for homework is you're going to practice with the vowels. Then you're going to take your different your objects and you're going to put them in and sing it with the object. That way you're practicing the consonant sounds. In the next class, I'm going to listen to you and give you feedback. If you want to record your voice and send it to me, send me a link to the recording in the Verbling chat uh, window. Right, and then I can give you feedback on your recording. I'll try to write this up as a as a homework assignment and give it to you. Okay, just to remind you of what to do after class. I'll be back in 30 seconds for our business class. We're starting a new unit. Okay, so stick around for that. Bye for now, everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. <laughs>